Live from the New England Seacoast and sunny Mexico, it's time for Channel Reviews! Please welcome your fabulous host, Mr. D. That was creepy. Happy early Halloween, happy early Halloween, ladies and gentlemen. That was a mouthful. Uh, I don't know what was going on there with Daniel. He's coming in uh, full force Halloween. So I'm we normally do sure. this. Nothing really changes once I take the mask off, though. Yeah, Very similar thing say. happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't really notice a difference there. Just the teeth got a little bit bigger. Normally Before this happens after. a second, the second Saturday of every month, but we had to move things around a little bit. Next month we will be back on schedule. How's everybody doing, Mr. Patel? How you doing? I'm doing great. How you doing, Mr. Uh, Dean Emmon? There was uh, there was a little uh, tickle in your throat there earlier this week that there we were was, trying to wrestle there through. Was, there was. It was a it was a rough couple of weeks, man. Oof. Oh, <laughs> hey, man. Well, why don't you explain to everybody what we're doing today? Because there might be some people in the audience who've never come to our show before i find that hard to believe but i'll explain anyway so what we're doing today is we're doing live channel reviews where we'll be picking people right from the live chat we'll be pulling them up and we have a wheel that we spin the wheel of best practices that tells us what to look at on that channel and what we do is best two out of three if you get best two out of three of those practices you move on to the final round for the wheel spin to win prizes from the fabulous Streamyard catalog if you miss two out of three we, get, we knock you out, we move on to the next contestant, but you can always get pulled back up, so stick around. There's going to be a word that D is going to drop into the chat using the StreamYard giveaway tool right here. If you type that into the chat, we can get this game going, and we're going to pick. You only need to type that once, um, and we will pick someone from the chat who uh, types that in there uh, using the StreamYard giveaway tool. That's right. Now, Mr. Patel, I'm going to need you to share your screen because once we pull somebody up, uh, I'm going to Do have I have to? to? Uh, you're gonna have to. Me, have to Wolf, man, werewolf know nothing, mask away. <laughs> nothing about no nothing about sharing screen. Yeah. So here's the thing. Uh, we're gonna put this word up just like you see now. The first word is StreamYard. I am gonna periodically just put the word up there. The word is gonna change every time. So if you see a word flash up there, start typing that in. Okay. And once we get a handful of people who have submitted the word StreamYard, we're going to roll this randomizer tool that StreamYard has. If you're not familiar with it, this is a free tool by StreamYard. If you're a StreamYard user, you can go to StreamYard.com forward slash giveaway and you get access to this uh, tool as well, which is really cool. Who's on Timpani today? Uh, we have Megan on Timpani today. She's been practicing. I, I, I think she's actually worked out some of her skills. So when Megan's ready, she can. Uh, you looking good over there? She's she's rubbing the sticks together. I don't know if she's trying right. to start a fire or actually play the timpani. All right, let's roll it. Ready? Let's do it. Okay. Let's see. So many familiar names up there today. The and the winner is that junk man. That junk man. Oh, that you junk know. man. Well, while you were pulling that up, I'm going to answer a question here uh, from that junk man, which is. Uh, Heck of a coincidence right there. He says, does Stream Deck work on StreamYard? Yes, StreamYard, Stream Deck does work with StreamYard. StreamYard does have hotkeys available. You can run your audio. In fact, when I was switching cameras at the beginning and when I was running our intro at the beginning and I have some sound effects, I'm running that all off of, let me show you right here. If I can do it without unplugging, I have a little uh, mini Stream Deck right here. So it that's absolutely a, works. That's adorable. It is. It's just the cutest little thing. Do you have his channel pulled up? I do have his channel pulled up, that junk man. But we awesome. are not going to actually look at that channel because we actually have a wheel that lets us uh, decide what we're going to look at. If I can find that wheel. There it is. Let me pull that wheel up. And we're going to spin, and that's going to tell us what to look at. So let's, uh, let's do that thing. Let's go. Boy, things work a lot better than they did when we were trying to do them out in L.A. Uh, on the fly here. It's nice to be back ah. in the studio. Right? End screens, end screens. D, can you quickly explain to the people here in the chat and in the replay what we mean by end screens and why they might be important to helping grow your channel? 
Absolutely, an end screen is one of the awesome features that YouTube gives us that allows us to put another piece of content, either linking out to another video or another playlist, because that's really the goal is to get someone watching your video and to hand them off to watch another piece of content. So you wanna make sure you're taking advantage of end screens. Okay, so we have his channel here if you wanna share that up. And let me go to the end and let me see if we can find. Pull them up uh, here. There, there we go. go. Here's his video. I'm going to the end. I'm scrolling to the end, and I want to see if we have an actual end screen happening in here anywhere. You better. Yeah, have his credits screen, look buddy. like ours, kind of like our credits, but backwards. And come on, cool, end screen. Uh, cool TV there. Oh no. Oh no. What? What? All right, ladies so and gentlemen, Mr. a channel Man. with almost thirty thousand subscribers, and uh, and Vince Neil as a guest with Sammy Hagar. Oh wait, that's a different channel. Um, not using end screens, like D said, these are perfect places when anyone is watching your video. You know that YouTube is going to get right ahead and start listing all these other videos, suggesting to the potential viewer something they might want to watch next. And when your video ends. They are absolutely, like we just saw it, went over to the Sammy Hagar and Motley Crue interview from this video. They're going to recommend when the video ends in the up next spot. So not putting something there to get ahead of it really is leaving not only views on the table, but engagement on the table and leaving uh, the ability to start funneling the viewer towards more of your content. Yes, I mostly use them, just didn't last night. Listen, Oops, we're not accepting excuses, junk man. Not with almost 30,000 <laughs> subscribers. There's no reason. One of the great things That's about this is everybody when you upload your video, um, one of the things while it's uploading, you have the options while you're waiting to add the cards in, to add the end screens in while the video's processing. So there's really no excuse for not getting those done while the video's uploading and you're waiting for that screen to finally publish and, and get it ready to, you know, because it takes a little while for it to process. So yeah, absolutely. If you're given the tools, use them all. Yeah, I agree. Totally agree. Yep. Good news is he gets another spin. Yeah, he sure does. So let's do that. Let's spin the wheel. Let me, uh, let me find the wheel. Where did I put that wheel? Confounded wheel. Yeah. Megan is way ahead of me on that one. She is. And we have, let's see, nice thick wheel, plenty of slices left. Optimized playlist. D, can you please tell the people here and in the replay what we mean by optimized playlists and why they're important to potentially growing your channel faster? Absolutely. When we're talking about optimized playlists, we're talking about a playlist where it's not just a bunch of things thrown together like uploads. You're being very specific about how you're curating your playlist. It helps to put a very descriptive title for your playlist and even a description if you can write that in there because your playlist can be, can, uh, be suggested to somebody through search or through browse. So you want to give people a reason to actually click into your playlist in addition to just organizing your videos better on your channel homepage. Right. And as we scroll down here on the homepage, we've got a few different playlists that are now he's calling himself the junk, that junk man. And as I'm trying to sort of learn the value prop of this channel, it looks like it's all sorts of things that he looks like he's more of a collector. Um, okay. And that could be like uh, what other people might consider junk or collectibles or, you know, those kinds of things. Because it looks flipping? like he's got like he's got stuff. What's that? Is he flipping? Um vintage stuff maybe or let me or? see let me see the about tab and see if i can figure out yes that junk one join the junk as we cover star wars movies and toys also kenner toys 80s toys and movies anything pop culture i don't know if he's flipping it or not he looks more like collector kind of stuff so there's okay, toy junk okay. star wars junk not toys um classic tv junk some of these have descriptions the greatest toy company ever uh made uh kenner toys kenner toys yeah video relate video relate to star wars non-toys they're definitely playlists they're definitely custom playlists the question becomes are they optimized playlists d what do you think here let me zoom in here yeah let me see if I can um know. star war star wars junk non-toys okay here's the thing like i'm a huge star wars fan we so daniel put on his werewolf mask and i was sitting here trying to figure out how i could put on one of my star wars helmets and still have my earphones on or my, <laughs> my headphones on huge star wars fan i got costumes over here but if i just saw if i'm on if i'm on youtube and it just says star wars junk non-toys video relate to star wars non-toys that doesn't tell me much. It just tells me it's Star Wars related. Now, 
you are making an effort here. So I, I, I'm going to grab this one and not flag you on it. I'm going to say, okay, you got it. But I would love to see you get a lot more descriptive on this. You're using the feature, but you're not using it to its full potential. That title alone should let me know exactly what's in there. And then especially with the added description. So I don't have to think about it. People, look, you've got a second to get someone's attention. So yeah. make it as, as clear as humanly possible. I always so say this to you. If you're try I mean, yeah, let's give him that one. That's fantastic. If you want to call that a yeah. win, then he's one and one. That, that's so he stays in the game. One of the things yeah. I always think about is ask yourself, would you would you use that playlist title as a video title? Would you make exactly. a, a video called Star Wars Junk Non Toys? And if you right. say, well, no, you know, ask yourself why you wouldn't because it's not descriptive. It doesn't really t explain what's going on or it wouldn't compel the viewer to click. Exactly. That's exactly what we want to do in our playlist titles, too. So think just like the way you would, you know, the same sort of best practices you might apply towards a really crafty title that has a lot of compelling elements. Put those into a playlist title as well and into the description. There you go. All right, let's pull that wheel up. Let's see what we're looking at. Next, we got one and one, so he's still in the game. The next one will decide it, correct? Well, that's spinning. That's the next word to type in. You too. Type that into the chat. Clear value proposition. Now, listen, when we talk about a clear value proposition, what we're referring to is the ability for a viewer at an instant to understand what we call the three W's of YouTube, what the channel is about niche, the who, who is the target audience, meaning what is the interest? We're not talking about demographics, but what would be the interest? Like who's the, who are the people you're trying to reach? Is that easily clear and recognizable to the viewer when they see your content? And lastly is the why, that's the last W. Why would someone watch your content? Not just as opposed to something that's similar, like a channel that you might feel like you're competing against that makes similar content, but when it's put up against uh, the other interests of that viewer so that you can win them over and get them to click your video, instead of something else. So let's take a look at this channel here and let's see what we think about the value proposition of it. Now, I already feel, I, I, I think it's, I, it took me a second to get it here. It's that junk man. So I get this idea that he's collecting junk, but actually when I start looking here, it's not so much junk, it really is more collectible stuff, but then some of it's not just collectibles because some of it seems to be talking about movies as well, but I can't tell if he's doing movie reviews or if it's movie like i'm a little bit like this classic tv fall guy tv series is there collectibles that go along with it it's almost like i'm a little confused in here um you know i almost want to i want to almost want to throw this to the to the lions let's throw it to the chat you guys in the chat thumbs up or thumbs down if you were to see this channel, would you absolutely know what it's about, who the target audience is, why you should watch, what to expect week after week from this channel? Tell them, I'll move around it a little bit quickly here. You look at the channel art, look at the featured content, look at some of the, um, the thumbnails, the titles, the playlists. Tell me what you guys think. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up, thumbs He's down. Right, it's right on the line for me. So right on the I line. I think the crowd, the, the audience, the lions, yep. They're gonna have to decide here. Yep. There's definitely some Star it's Wars close, stuff man. in there. It's, it's really close. And you know, the thing is, is when you take this stuff out of context, doesn't well, I don't know sense. if he's been uploading since 2015. Let me see what his oldest video is. Uh, his oldest video was from six years ago. So yeah, he's been there since 2015. There's some Star Wars stuff. There's some movie stuff. There's some collectible. I don't know. What are they saying? What is the what is the chat we, thing? We mostly have thumbs down on this. Mostly thumbs down. Hmm. Well, you know, can't argue. We throw it to the lions, and the lions decide. And sometimes they chew you up and spit you out. So that's going to be the second strike. Unfortunately, you can stay around and you can keep playing because you can get pulled up again. Um, one of the things. Listen, you've got almost thirty thousand subscribers, and you might be transitioning this channel over time. It may have started as one thing and leaned another way. But one thing you want to think about is just make sure the packaging is clear. It's not that you can't talk about 80s television shows and 80s collectible toys and 80s movies. You, you know, that's fine. But try to make sure that that's clear, that it's, that's what you're going to be covering. Because up here, it just feels like, ah, it's a little bit of whatever. Sometimes it's toys. Sometimes it's movies. Um, just making a little more clear. Because up top, I would have totally pegged this as a collectible toy channel. Yeah. So too. if I was here like, oh, I'm all about the collectible toys, and you start talking about a television series from the 80s, 
I would skip that video. I wouldn't click it if it was served to me. And what happens is, is YouTube is not a great arbiter of quality. What they do is they're a great arbiter of whether or not people that they think is the target audience are responding to the content. So what will happen is, is you can have a great channel that has almost 30,000 subscribers, but then you put up videos and they really struggle to get past 500 views or they struggle to get past 900 views. And then some you know, crush it. So you're seeing some that connect because they're maybe a little more focused to your brand and some that aren't, they may be pulling the other way. So just think about that moving forward, everybody out there. So I need to do this. That's a two strike and it's a best out two out of three. So unfortunately we're going to be moving on to the next one. So what do we got for the word that we're putting into the chat D YouTube, YouTube. It's a great YouTube. word. I love it. If you have not typed this in and by the way, junk man, you have another opportunity. You can continue to play. Uh, yeah. This and is this is funny. You know, we have you seen channels up. that aren't nearly as um, high, uh, uh, well thought out as junk, that junk man's channel go on to win it all because that's how yeah. random the wheel is. It's like yeah. whatever the wheel picks, we kind of have to go with. And a lot of times we ask the chat what they think. And it's really about just sort of the luck of the draw sometimes with best practices. The goal here is to make sure that everyone's thinking about a broader spectrum. When people come to your channel, they're going to give you, they're not going to give you much more than, uh, you know, six or seven seconds to decide whether or not it's something they're interested in, you know, hitting the subscribe button, coming back for more. So you really want to make sure that you make it very, very clear to people when they land on your channel, what you're all about. Junk man says, I don't want to take someone else's time. So think, no, listen, you can, that's you can. the fun of the game. Listen, you absolutely it. can because everything, here's the thing, like everyone in here is thinking about my channel might be different. There's going to be different rules. So listen, this applies to all the best practices applies to everyone. Yeah, there there might be some technical differences here and there, but just blanket best practices apply to everyone. Yeah, and listen, I, I don't know that my channel, if given any particular exactly. thing that was pulled up, would pass because there are things that we all miss. So the the idea here is just to bring attention to it and have a little fun. So don't don't take that the wrong way. Learn a little bit about it. Keep active. Like the very first thing you said, like oh, I usually always put in end screens. I just missed it on the I'm new upload. Slipping. Man, I'm that's one slipping. right. You're slipping. We're trying to keep you on your game. <laughs> keep you on your game. What do you say? You want to roll this thing, D? Let's roll it. You ready? Megan, hit those timpanis. Let's go. Right on cue. Good job, Megan. Grieving Mommy, Mommy Brooksy. Okay, let me see if I can find that. Uh, grieving Mommy. Boy, that's that sounds sad. I hope. Grieving Mommy. Brooke. All I have is C, so I'm going to go from there and see if I can find it. Brooke, Brooke C. Carlock. Brooke Carlock. Is that what it is, Brooke Carlock? Yeah. I think, so. I think I have it now. Okay. Okay, so we have that. You can pull that up. Grieving Mommy, supporting you on your grief journey. Man, that's a... That's uh, boy. Here's a here's a channel that you, you, is important, but I hate to see a channel like this. Great support, probably for people who are oh, going look through at this situation. Ninety nine subscribers. Look at that. Yep, right on the cusp. Would someone yep. please su subscribe to this channel now and send this? You know what? I'm I'm gonna do it right through Streamyard. Boom. Let's get you over the. I'm gonna do uh, Streamyard is now <laughs> subscribe to your channel. We're gonna get you a hundred so we can get you some options opened up. Um, yep. That, that there's some features that open up at 100 that can make things a little bit easier for you. So that's great. Uh, how old is this channel now? Um, 12, wow, just joined in May. So brand new channel. Oh. Um, just taking a quick peek. All right, using a lot of things like shorts. All right, cool. I like to see it. Okay. Okay, but I'm not going to look at anything more. Let's pull up the wheel and let the wheel decide what it is. If I can find the wheel, where'd my wheel go? That confounded wheel. D, sometimes the wheel just doesn't want to be my friend. Hang on a second. Let me pull wheel it up here. Yeah, it does. Sometimes it just. Uh, let me uh, let me make sure I can get that wheel up there. Come Find on, it. Yeah, just sometimes nope. it splash. It's coming. There, it's coming. Okay. There it is. Yeah, all right. Let's see. I'm having one of those days, D. Okay, here's our wheel. Let's spin that thing and see what we're looking at. Easy, Megan. She's getting all excited with the timpani over there. <laughs> we have optimized titles. D, can you please explain to the people what we mean by optimized titles and why they're important? Absolutely. We're talking about optimized titles. We are talking about titles that specifically speak to your target audience. It should be a title that either it compels them to click for one reason or another. Maybe it makes them curious about what the video is, or maybe it's how to tie a tie, and it's very 
uh, it, it lets them know exactly what the video it is. Whatever the reason is, it needs to be a title. Going to the store is not an optimized title. Well, you let me be read. very clear and very specific to pull people in. Let me read some of these titles and let me see what, um, what you think, D. Um, yeah. Five things you should never say to someone who's lost a child or anyone grieving. Uh, what is my life like eight months after losing my child? A grief journey. How do I survive losing so many people I love? Exploring cumulative grief. Boy, I tell you what, uh, um, these titles are just on point. I, uh, these yeah. are super compelling titles. Um, yes. Man, I am so sorry. To, it, I don't know the story of what happened with you, but just from the outside looking in, if um, uh, nothing but uh, as a father, my heart goes out to you. Um, and I, I know we have a pretty lighthearted show here, but um, I, I'll try to keep it light. Um, my heart goes out, but these titles are fantastic. I think you've done a yes. a great job with, with this. That's a win for me, D. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I, I just nail it on, a, on the titles. Speaking directly to the target audience here. Yeah. Now, just, just for contrast, imagine, right? So you have five things you should never say to someone who's lost. What, what was it? Who's lost? Um, um, five things you should never say to someone who's lost a child or anyone okay. grieving. Now, imagine instead. So she, ha she has 1.1 1 .1, uh, thousand views on that. Imagine instead the title is just, I'm grieving. That right. wouldn't really speak to anyone. All it says is like, I'm going through something. Yep. And that video would not have a thousand views. But right. the way she wrote it right there is speaking directly to people who have lost someone or people who know someone who's lost someone and they want to know how to communicate with them. So absolute fantastic titles. Yeah. And it, <clears throat> when she definitely speaks to the um, supporting you on your grief journey, apparently, you know, she's lost a a child of her own and when she really nails that and has that conversation openly and it's expressed in the title she gets rewarded with you know the, the views yeah. are there people connect people yeah. are like wow wow and, th and they immediately want to hear her story and and her her insight um oh wow that's horrible my 10 year old daughter died in a car accident in february become a grief coach and hoping to start on like horses man you know what um i don't even as a dad i can't even imagine what that's like um i have a 16 year old son but I, I, I have nothing but respect for you bringing this to a channel and becoming um, a coach and trying to help others cope because I would be at a loss. I, would, I wouldn't be able to do the show. I wouldn't be able to do anything. So the, you focusing that into something positive is just absolutely, um, yeah. you know, that's, that's, that's what being a creator is all about is taking that thing that is personal to you and bringing your story to a platform where you can impact others who, um, who might be interested in the things you have to say or can relate to it or might be going through the a similar situation themselves. This is really yeah. fantastic. I, I have, it's rare we get to see a channel that has such a good cause behind it, like uh, has you know such potential reach and impact to help other people, but this is definitely one of them. Yeah. Um, really great, really great. All right, well, now that's, and thank you for being the buzzkill for our show, by the way. We appreciate that too, <laughs> just taking the mood way down here. <laughs> But yeah. listen, that's one. That's one win. Let's spin this wheel again and see what else we're looking at. Megan's wiping her tears right now, trying to relate to him. Yeah, yeah, I, I just, yeah. yeah. I'm just... Tough one. See, it's, it's effective. She can't even hit the drums right. Um, so, Dang okay, it. we've got... Um, that just moved on me cards uh let's see we've talked about cards before you know there's four places in any given video that you can recommend content now uh, we've talked about end screen so far but then the next one the, the really the first one that people can see as they're watching a video is a card which is an overlay that'll pop up in the upper right uh, and you can set the timing of that so a little uh teaser text will pop out when it hits a certain point in the video sort of notifying the person uh, of a call to action either to watch another video or it could be to if you have like a, a website or something or a product that you want to place there but that card is a perfect place to get that viewer to take action a call to action there best practices say you should put that about 80 percent of the way through a video or more the idea being that you, you know you're pre-qualifying the viewer you don't want to put it somewhere at the beginning and start increasing the bounce rate and pushing people off of your video what you really want to do is put it somewhere near the end where someone has watched a majority of your video they may have seen what's going on um, and you try to recommend another piece of content to them. And I'm going to start with the one from a month ago that has 1,100 views. If anything should have a card, this one should. And as I click on it, 100%, there's a card right oh. there, the five best things to say to someone grieving. Boy, that's a, that's a big win for me right there. You know what I like about this, D? You've got one that says, 
the things you five things you should never say to someone who's lost a child that talks about that 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 really focuses on the negative of like what you shouldn't do but then she pushes pushes right towards another video that says the best thing so here's the alternative okay i've told you what you should never say yeah. let me talk about some of the things that you might want to consider saying instead to really um talk to that person and make them understand that you know you that you're there and you're listening to their story not trying to whatever the situation may while, be positive while things. we're here while we're here yeah. and and she's on a, an amazing mission here can you just kind of talk about taking that same video and putting it in your description and pinned comment i know we're going to get to that in a wheel but like this is one of the situations where she's doing the right stuff and i think it might yeah. really kind of help her yeah one of the next one of the things you want to think about we so. talk about this a lot is creating view funnels so when you're building this out um one of the things you want to talk about um brooke is if you put a video, I love that you have one video up in the cards. When we get to the end, let's see what you're actually doing. When we get to the end, let me see, was there one there? I may have skipped it. When we get to the end, there's an opportunity for you to put another video. Oh. And there's the five best things to say. So that's up there as well. When I scroll down, what I would tell you is the same thing you just did. You push towards that in two places. I would recommend also putting it in the description, but above the fold. See that show more. Don't hide it down below, making someone have to click to get to it, but put it up here somewhere. Even interrupting your description is fine. Uh, put a nice link up there. Don't be afraid to put emojis, maybe a thumbtack or a red dot or a check mark, something that catches their um, D get hairs. <laughs> D get hairs. What does that mean? I, guess, I, I think he wants to see my back. That's what he's trying to say. <laughs> D get hairs. Yeah, I, I like to keep my shirt on for the stream yard uh, <laughs> right. shows. Any Over other on Twitch later, that shirt's off. <laughs> yeah, that's right. The OnlyFans. You'll uh, see all the hairs. Yeah. <laughs> we should start an Only Hairs. <laughs> I can find the website for it. Only Hairs. <laughs> uh, you can also put that down in your um, pinned comment too, Brooke, and anyone listening along, if you put it there, what happens is that means if someone is watching your video and they one person comes along, they see the card, they click that, it sends them to this next video. Someone else might come along, click the end screen, that sends them to that exact same video. If you have it down here in the link in description, a third person might click that and head off to see it. And if you have it in your pinned comment, a fourth person could potentially see it there and click anywhere. And no matter where people click, it all sends them to the next video. And why that's important is because no matter what these different people do, you start sending the exact same traffic signal back to YouTube. And YouTube interprets those traffic signals and viewer behavior to start understanding what to recommend to people next. So the idea of pushing them all in one direction can have huge impact on your ability, not only to get them to watching more of your videos, but to start getting YouTube to start recommending your content more frequently. So think about that. You've got two, two out of the four. There's the other two. Uh, link in the description and pinned comments. So when they come up, we're not gonna explain them. I would definitely go in that direction. So what do we have right now? Is that one she, win? That was best two out of three. So that was two out of three? On. Man, there we yeah. go. So there's the winner. Let me get into the winner. Congratulations, move on. Right. And I just want to say, Ahmed, you are a keen observer of detail. I, I <laughs> appreciate <laughs> Where's yeah, nothing gets past you, buddy. Right. Nothing gets past you. You're Bob. You're Bob. <laughs> you're Bob. You got it. Right. Where's oh, mine? My where was God. my Where was my Daniel get haircut? Yeah. <laughs> that one went, is that next? Daniel. Nothing get gets haircut. past him. You can see. Master of the obvious. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Congratulations. You move on to the next round. And titles is the next word to go ahead. It, it should have been D's bald. That should have been my tight end. <laughs> but it's, it's titles because titles are super, it's super, super important titles yeah so go ahead we'll wait just a little bit to type in titles get it in there <laughs> master of the obvious yes. <laughs> oh my goodness i love it all right whenever megan is ready let's do it all right let's go Uh, Deadlocks 13. Deadlocks 13. Let me see if we can find the channel. I'm going to guess we have a gaming channel here. I'm, I'm going to guess. That looks like a gaming handle, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Feels like a gaming handle, Deadlocks 13. <laughs> Let's share that up there. D needs a Mr. Obvious got it? Shirt. Yeah, he does. Yeah. I do. Um, you know how I, mean, I know it's a gaming channel? Because it says it right up in the channel art. And it says gaming channel. <laughs> yeah. Gaming channel. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah, no argument there. We need to get Ahmed in here to figure out what kind of channel this is. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ahmed's been giving some channel art tips in here. You should say gaming channel. And he get more hairs. That's funny. All right, listen, All let's right. pull up the wheel and see what we're looking at today. We're just being silly. Yeah. Now we said nothing says gaming channel like the words gaming channel. Oh, look at that. We got a free spin right off the bat. Cool. So let's awesome. chalk that one up. There's an extra free spin. What that is, is if you happen to get two strikes, you'll have an extra spin to stay in the game for this round. So let's spin it again and let's see what happens. Love it. All right, clear thumbnails. We haven't we haven't touched this one yet. D, can you please explain to people here and in the replay what we mean by clear thumbnails and why they're important to growing a channel more effectively? Yeah, just like a clear title or an optimized playlist, your a clear thumbnail should be not only a thumbnail that your target audience understands and compels them to click, but it need it, it should be simple. You shouldn't have a bunch of text stuffed into your thumbnail. If you are using text, make sure it's easy to read, especially on a mobile device. You wanna make sure you have good contrasting colors. Use thick, thick fonts, use bold fonts, and don't cram everything in there. Thumbnails, it's, it's one of those things that less is usually more. Now, this is gonna be a little tricky because uh, the majority of his content shorts, yeah. is shorts, and yet, and we pretty much have given up on trying to do custom thumbnails for shorts yeah. because they're not even really displaying them now anywhere. So it's a, they just pick a frame from the short itself. So they only have two, he only's got two um, thumbnails down here at the bottom. Uh, what do you say? I say, I, I'm the, I, I don't wanna be the guy that makes this choice. You wanna throw it to the lions and see what the lions think of these two. Well, what do you, well, they what did do you do? Too. That is, a, I mean, that's, Okay. Well, you know, he's got a 50 first, well, shot here. first of all, let's talk about <laughs> Dream's face reveal. <laughs> I've never seen, I mean, I, I actually didn't watch it live, but boy, they ate him alive. They ate that poor kid, they ate that poor kid alive. <laughs> well, it happens. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So we're going to throw it to the lions. Thumbs up yeah. or thumbs down? Are what these do two thumbs? I almost feel bad though. It's just like two thumbnails only. Well, that's all right. You know, like, you know, with, that's what we're doing here. That's the wheel. All sometimes right, giveth it. and the some it gives us the, giveth the free spin, and then sometimes the wheel taketh Take away. Taketh so, away. You know, it's just the, the luck of the draw here. All what right, do people think? Any up, gaming channels down. out there? What do you guys think? Do you think of these two thumbnails? And looking at the titles that kind of go with them, kind of pull it together and look at the title and the thumbnail together. Do you think these thumbnails are being clear and they're? accentuating those titles and making it easy for the viewer to understand what this uh what this channel is about and what this content is about um take a peek take a peek i'm seeing thumbs up thumbs down thumbs up thumbs up thumbs down a little back and forth little fence a little heavy it was leaning towards thumbs up i'm trying to see i'm trying to see if i see any gaming channels i'm trying to put yes, a little more a weight because a gaming channel would know a, yeah. i'm going to give them a little more weight um game closet says down let's see um let me see i'm looking i'm looking i'm looking how I'm tidy thriller says here. wash hands <laughs> okay well, i don't know if you have to wash them but that might could be done game closets down let's see uh i, got I think we got down. a lot of downs and got a lot of down I'm, i think in this situation this is going to be i think this one's going to be a strike my friend that's it <laughs> There it is. Wow. <laughs> We're a little slow we with our doubled that one up. Yeah, we did. Hey, listen. So you have a free spin, right? Yeah, I have a free spin. You haven't lost anything okay, in here. Yeah. You still yeah, get you three shots at this thing. You're or two still more in shots. the game. Um, yeah, like I, I think the face reveal one's pretty good. The other one, not so much target SMP. You know, um, I just think about like, you know, like when I always think about, is this a, is this a Minecraft channel? Is that what we're looking at? It's a, it looks like Amin, it's a blocks what, what we got going Minecraft, on here, Minecraft. Yeah, let me see. It looks like it's... Um, let, let me do a quick show. When I think about a great Minecraft thumbnail, something that really wins the click, I'm thinking about stuff that's really huge, noob, yeah. pro, right? Yeah. Stuff you know, like huge like this whole thing. I transformed the end in Minecraft hardcore, and it's like you can see before and after. Um, just, just like really easy, bright, colorful um, stuff that really compels the click that's easy to understand. Think about some of these things that make it super simple. Um, of course, if Mr. Beast is in your thumbnail and it's Mr. Beast Gaming, he's probably going to win some clicks on his face. But these other ones above him that are ranking higher in search for Minecraft, really, really obvious, clear, bright, simple. Um, just think about that when you're building any of your thumbnails for your regular content. I think the first one, not so bad. I don't know what it, much that it had. Oh, my my, my uh, 
guess my uh, my magnifying glass doesn't want to work. But the smaller one, yeah, a little back and forth. Just think about if you can improve that a bit. But let's go back to the wheel because you got uh, yep, you got plenty of time out. to stay in the. You're you're yeah, right yeah, in yeah. here, my friend. You might even win it all. Yeah. Oh boy, that dream face reveal. Ooh, I felt bad for him. They were not nice to that kid. People are. Uh, I thought he was a good looking kid. Chapters. Now, this is one I think we're going to have to skip because he's got mostly shorts content. There's work. no way he's going to have Spinity. one of these two ones uh, chaptered. So let's go again. There's some of these things like chapters are good for certain situations. So we yeah. try to be understanding with the channel. Chat's choice. Okay, Chat's choice. Looking at what you have on the wheel here, you could pick anything you want. You can, you could, well, you could technically eliminate him. You could advance him. You could give him free merch. You could pick featured content or clear channel name or a pinned comment or consistent uploads. Chapters, wow. great question with chapters are. Do you want to take that one? Yeah, you might be, you might know them as uh, timestamps. Right, you can write timestamps down in your description, and it's going to allow the users to actually click through the various parts of your videos. Now, for shorts, that doesn't make sense. That's why we we spun it again on you. But if you have longer videos where there's different segments of the video, then it might make sense to actually have chapters. And while we're on the topic of, of chapters, uh, I, I watched a oh, look at that. Oh, that's a nice nice. Oh, uh, look at me! I'm sleeping at the wheel. Look, I'm like sound asleep. Um, in this video, you can see if I click on right next to the uh, times, you can see all these chapters open up. And these are all sections of this video where I talked about helping people fix their bad titles. I just put this video up the other day. Um, and I broke this down into these separate, separate sections of that content. And if you scroll through, do you see how the, the playhead line has like separations in it? And you can click the chapters and these can take you to right, right to those sections in the video. And what we've learned from YouTube is they're actually starting to use them to help in places like search and the definitely being surfaced yeah. in places like Google for key moments. So yeah. chapters can really help out the experience. And it's a simple matter of just adding um, these little timestamps. You just type it out. You don't have nothing special. You write the time. You put the title, an optimized uh, chapter title right next to it, starting with zero colon zero zero. And then you just start finding the time spots in the video and you write them in there. You list them, put a title, and you just add that to your description. And it automatically does all this chaptering here for you. That's it. Time, the, the name of the chapter title. And you have to, the, the restrictions are they can't be closer than 10 seconds apart. Um, and I believe there's a minimum of, I can't remember what the minimum is. I, I want to say it's like, there has to be a certain length of video too, I think is in there. But basically I think I wanted to say it was, I, I might be lying here, but there's a length and they can't be closer than 10 seconds together. You can't put like a chapter six seconds after, right after another one. You have to spread them out a little bit. So there's something about chapters. I, um, a few days ago, a very large channel, a very large channel that covers YouTube growth and um, how to be an entrepreneur made a video about things to do on YouTube basically in 2022 and they discuss chapters and this is very important and this is something that uh, Daniel and I talk about a lot. They discuss chapters and recommended that people no longer use chapters and the reason that they were telling people not to use chapters was because in their situation they were looking, they, they pressed their nose up against the metrics and they were looking at the data from those specific chapters may have been, at looking at a graph, it may have been hurting the video. They smashed their nose against the metrics instead of stepping away and looking at the grand picture of what chapters actually do. And one of the things that YouTube looks at is viewer satisfaction. That's not a metric that we get. YouTube doesn't show us viewer satisfaction, but YouTube heavily looks at viewer satisfaction these days. And chapters is one of the things that really helps with viewer satisfaction. So if you watch the video, and I don't want to mention anybody's name, but if you've seen that, take that part with a grain of salt. They press their face up against the metrics on that. Yeah, you're going to get advice both. You're going to get advice yeah. left, right, and center. I always say, listen, if YouTube gives you a feature, we try to pick the ones that we think are effective and put them into the wheel. And if they're here, you know, think about using them. It's not going to be right for every for every creator in every right. situation, but especially if you're making longer videos that have areas just like, you know, imagine buying a book that didn't have chapters. It was just 400 right. pages long, and it was like it just kept going and going. They do it in books for that reason because they want, even in story-driven stuff, they want to break it up so you have sort of areas where you sort of, um, focusing on each piece and talking about the development for that area, even in story driven stuff. So it's something that I think you should consider. You should consider. Right. What is the yeah. chat saying? We, both, we threw it out to them. I'm seeing 
thumbnails, thumbnails a couple of times. Thumb consistent Where did you uploads. Thumbnails? Consistent uploads. All right, yep, consistent uploads. Let's do that. We're right here already. So we've got one from 35 minutes ago. We got one from 18 hours ago, a day ago, three days ago, three days ago, five days ago, six days ago. D, I'm going to say um, my friend here, Deadlocks13, has been consistently publishing shorts that's to his channel. Up. I like that he's that's jumped on the, sh on the shorts bandwagon, too, and giving him a yes. shot because, you know, some of these are really paying off. Look, he's got 8,700 views. He's got yep. 8,400 views, 7,600 yep. views nine days ago. Like, look at this channel. He doesn't have a lot of, he's new, but look, he's already starting to drive thousands, 9,000 views here. He's driving thousands of views to his shorts. Really well done, my friend. I, I love that you, st you jumped in and you tried something. A lot of people are against, uh, some people are like, oh, I'll never do shorts. And here you are as a new creator of the platform, or at least a new channel, crushing it with shorts. Very well done. Yeah, you know, I, I think all of the, I mean, man, take the cue from the platforms, especially YouTube. They're dumping so much on shorts right now. They're yeah. reshuffling the entirety of YouTube to put a ton of focus on shorts. And just like you said, I see so many people saying things like, oh, shorts are stupid and I'm not going to, you know what? You're lost. You're yeah. lost because shorts are happening with or without you. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we and should add shorts Bono. to the wheel. Maybe we should put yeah. those in there. See if, we you should, know, yeah. yeah just, so moving things around, get people and, thinking about them. And shorts are a great way to reach a new audience that does not know you exist. Right. Okay, so what do we got? We got one hit right now? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Let's move this thing. Yeah, because I got a free spin, right? Yep. We got one hit, one strike. We just kind of call that strike a wash. Featured link in the description. Now, we already talked about that this. I'm not going to review work. it again. We told you exactly yeah. what it was. Now, he's got a lot of shorts. I want to tell you something. Even when making shorts, putting links in the descriptions can be hugely effective. Hugely effective. So, I'm going to start with the content that is the face have. reveal. Let me start with have. there's There's one that should have um, his face reveal. He does have a link he does. in the, the description to his, act, to the, to his uh, dreams actual face reveal. Okay. I'm he I'm going to go I, very thoughtful right up front. He said, "Here's he let me talk it. about it and I'm going to link to the actual reveal." I didn't think he was going to have it, but he did it. I'm going to say that that's two hits and our friend is now moving on to the next round. Really well done, my friend. I think anyone could be a winner here. I think people forget that this uh any channel depends on the spin of a wheel. You could actually move forward. Let me get his name into the uh into the final wheels. Yeah, so the way this is going to work, in case somebody's coming in here late and they're not sure what's happening here, everyone who advances, there's going to be a final spin. And the winner of the final spin, as long as you're in a place in the world where we can ship something to you, you get to choose something out of the StreamYard store, the merch. They've got hoodies and t-shirts, and they've got these amazing giant coffee cups. Uh, if we can ship it to you, we will send it to you. And if we can't ship it to you, we'll figure something else. We'll get you some. Yeah. We'll hook you up with some StreamYard license time, and we'll, we'll make sure that everyone walks yeah. away with something. Yeah, you got it. You okay. find them? Um, let me see. No, we got to do thumbnail. There? We got to ro we got to roll again. That's that one yeah. moved on. So we're going to spin this one. Thumbnails? Is that what everyone's typing in? That's what it is. You ready to roll ready? it? Yeah. Let's go. junk man back in the game that's what we like to see yeah that's right so i'm talking about data is king boy do i love that name <laughs> that's right data is king i love that let me see let me pull it over here when we have is that data. the one yeah it is this data looks is like king. the one right data is king okay as we said before we are not going to do anything we have a wheel that makes the decision about what we're going to look at so let's pull up that wheel which is starting to get very thin this is my favorite part of the game yeah the slices are all eliminated as we land on them so the wheel starts getting thinner so the chances of hitting some cool stuff gets improved but also the chances of maybe hitting like an eliminated also that gets riskier so we'll uh We'll spin this thing and let's see what uh, let's see what's gonna happen next. A plus Russian, <laughs> obvious as master. I love it. Featured content, featured content. Um, this is one we have not talked about yet today. D, can you explain to people what we mean by featured content and how that might effectively help grow a channel uh, more quickly? Yeah, uh, why don't you actually pull a channel up so we can actually show them? There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there you go. There you, you go, folks. Thanks for yeah, playing so along. Fe 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> have a great day, everybody. <laughs> Feature content is exactly what you see right here. YouTube allows us to have two different options here, one for people who have not subscribed to the channel and one for people who have subscribed to the channel. So you need to think about what the viewers might actually be interested in based on what side of the fence they're on there. And you do have feature content. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I am seeing, sometimes I just subscribe to see if she had it. Um, look, she's gonna hate me. Like, oh, now you're unsubscribing. You're ruining my, my metrics there, Daniel. Thanks a ton, I appreciate it. Um, but I wanted to make sure you could see this. Um, this is one of the things we talk about. It says data is king channel. One of the things that, that you wanna think about is the content you put here can still be served out across the platform. Uh, mm -hmm. And I know that they do call a lot of times um, a channel trailer, trailer. you know. Yeah. But one of the things we think about is think about it more as a featured piece of content for someone who's not subscribed to your channel. So yes, you could use it to sort of explain what the channel's about, but D and I have talked about this a lot and it's like, well, how did someone get to your channel who isn't subscribed? Do you think they randomly like typed in data is king into the search engine and said, I wonder if there's a channel called data is king and then came to your channel and said, I have no idea what it's about. I wish they had a channel trailer to explain it. More than likely, they've probably seen a piece of your content or saw a link to your channel somewhere and said, that looks interesting. I want to go over there and see what kind of content she makes. I don't always know that a channel trailer is the best thing in the world. I think you might want to think about something that really reflects the kind of content they're gonna, that you're going to make for them on the channel. Hit them with one of your better videos. Potentially hit them with something that has decent conversion metrics because if you know they're unsubscribed, why don't you think, think about putting a video here that does a great job of getting people to subscribe. One that right. the, the metrics in your analytics has shown recently, like in the last 90 days, more people have subscribed from watching that video than your other videos. But that's a win. That's a that's a that's a yeah. that's a first hit right off the bat. Yep. So let's pull king. up that wheel and uh, let's see what we're gonna look at next. Man, I love it when we move quickly like this. Okay, okay, okay. What do we got? What do we got? That was awfully close to eliminated. Clear channel name. Okay, uh, we did immediately like the channel name. Uh, it says data is king. Uh, streaming and posting videos daily, uploads, popular uploads. I'm struggling to figure out what the channel, now if the channel is called Data is King, D, what would you expect this um, this channel to be about? Yeah, I'm thinking them to nerd out over like analytics or something. Yeah. Some sort of data. Um, it says uh, Data King is a YouTube channel that's dedicated to providing extensive training and support in Power uh, BI. I don't know what that is. Power Query, Data Modeling, Microsoft okay. Access, Excel, PowerPoint, um, SQL, PowerShell, Power Apps. Right. So it really thinking, is all yeah. data collection type apps, like doing like spreadsheets, okay. things like that. Boy, I got to say, that's pretty clear to me. I mean, it definitely yeah. speaks to the value of. Yeah, I think Daniel froze on us. Ladies and gentlemen, we lost Mr. Daniel Patel. There I am. I'm back. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. Welcome. Back. Oh, you know, sometimes uh, I welcome to my world. <laughs> yeah, good channel name, and I love that you have the icons up there. So you have, you know, PowerPoint, and is that PowerPoint? And what is that? Uh, it's yeah, not you gotta remember me. But each one of these, they put are. them up here. All of the different ones that they're working with, which is great. I think it's really smart. I think it makes a lot of sense. Um, so that's solid. That's two hits, right? That means she's moving right on to the um, to the final yeah. spin. And yeah. Yes, winner's wheel. Man, man, I love it when people win. Let me add it. her in there. I love it. All right, congratulations. All right. Data is king. My internet Next connection word. today isn't king. Yeah, it is not. It's more like popper. <laughs> Jester. Jester. <laughs> jokes the on Jester. me. Yeah, jokes <laughs> on you. All right, there All right. you go. The yard. Is that the next one we're going to type here? The yard. Everyone type you got as it. you type see it, it right like that. Type that into the the, uh, the chat. I Boy, saw you know, somebody we... in. The... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I was going to say somebody came in here and the chat just flew by me here. Um, somebody asked how they enter to win. So can someone explain to them in the chat how they enter to win? You just you type the word in. That's it. Type the word yeah. in. And if we pull your yeah. channel up and if you and if you win the best practices, we send you. We send you on to the final uh, spin yeah. of the wheel at the end, where whoever wins that spin is going to be able to pick any piece of merchandise from the StreamYard catalog. They've got great stuff. They've got hats. They've got mugs. They've got sweatshirts. They've got T-shirts. They've got the duck. Stuff I don't have ducks. any of my stuff in front of me. They're all up on the shelves and everything, but they got great do stuff. Do you know, do you realize that we went to L.A., did yeah. Vid Summit, was, we were at the StreamYard booth, and I left without getting a duck? 
you threw your duck into the audience when we were doing our presentation, my friend. I did, but I <laughs> wanted to bring a duck back so I could like sit it back here, and I I, I was duckless. I left. Yeah. I, I was. Well, wait a I minute. Was, I know someone who can get a duck into your hands, and her well, name is Meg. It's it's not worth shipping a duck to Thailand. It's <laughs> forty seven dollars against forty seven dollars to ship a duck. Totally. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, we'll do that. The yard, the yard, the right. yard. How many do we have? 83 entries. You want to spin this thing? Megan's uh, looking at Let's me like with you. a side eye. Let's go. I'm duckless. It's okay. I'm duckless. Story of my life. There we go. Sunshine, Bobbles, and Blaine. Well, I just want to say that um, I was willing to give you a duck, but you, you, you don't want a duck. So, you know, now I don't give a duck. <laughs> A day late and a duck short. There you go. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> All right. Sunshine, bobbles, and bling. Sunshine, bob sunshine bobbles, and bling. I think I like the channel name. I like the channel. I like the uh, Mackenzie Lumber says, what? No duck. You guys rocked at Vid Summit. Thank, Thank you. you Thank you very much. But yeah, Daniel for anyone rocked. who didn't know, like, we were there. We were on right after Colin and Samir on the main stage, and they literally hit a million subscribers on stage as they were finishing their presentation they pulled up their channel the numbers were turning the whole crowd's cheering million million the crowd erupts people go crazy they come backstage crying they're all hugging it was this huge moment and there d and i are putting our mics on like okay oh, so we're up next <laughs> that was um that was crazy they were a great opening act we love them they were fantastic i think those kids are going places <laughs> i think they're gonna be okay <laughs> Uh, right. Okay, so here's the channel. I'm not going to do anything. Let me pull up the wheel, which is extremely thin, extremely yep. thin right now. My gosh! Yep. Hold on. Did we uh, did this not did this stop sharing again? Come on, man. Nothing just nothing is my friend today. All right, I'll give it a second here. Let me let me let me hit some buttons. Okay, there we go. Um, Boy, it's looking thin. It is very thin. All right, let's do it. Come on, please don't please don't eliminate her. She just got here. Did I just jinx it because I said, please don't eliminate her? Truly well, duck. you know, the the wheel giveth and the wheel doth taketh away. That was the definitely duck a duck. Giveth. <laughs> was, the duck giveth. She got, she got ducked. Away. She got, you got she ducked. Got ducked. <laughs> that's, a, that's a proper ducking right there. <laughs> Duckless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a good looking channel too. I want to get into it. Where's I? But play, keep playing along here. Um, the great thing about this game, as you can see, people can get pulled up more than once. So please keep playing along. Yeah. Oh, the good boy. news is, is eliminated is gone. It's now gone. Yeah. So look at all the great stuff we have left. Pin comment, free merch, advance. Cons this is the host choice. We got. Look at. There's all good things happening here. The good news is elimination is gone. The better news is, it is time for Sudden Death. It is time for Sudden Death. So if you're new to the show, what happens now is, instead of the best two out of three, you one. get one shot. How about That's this? It. I want to change the rules. We typically, there when we go. move to, when we move to Sudden Death, we typically reset the wheel. So that okay. everyone gets a fair shot, so they didn't get stuck with eliminated. But now okay. that limit some, like we had, we had a brave soldier go out there and take one for the team. <laughs> in sunshine bubbles and bling. Yep. Took so one why for don't the we let right this there. roll right now with all these great things on here, like merch and advance and stuff? And why don't we, uh, why don't we spin this wheel down? What do you say? Is that cool? Just keep going. Yeah. Let's spin it a few times from here. Again, let's get these people a chance to really win something or advance quickly. What do you guys Let's think in the go. chat? That makes sense. Yeah, they all look at the ducklesses are. They're all busy talking about duckless. Let's yeah. do it. Let's let's spin that wheel with a, while it's still thin because I think it's a, okay. It's a good chance to move some people forward or give them a chance to win some merch. I think it, that's a okay. great thing. So we already got one thumbs up. So the we Christian have to choose magician. a winner. Yep, we have to choose a winner. So Megan, you ready? Yep, do it. Would it be great if sunshine bobbles and oh, that would came be right fantastic. back up again? Ahmed. All right, Brown Gal, Brown Gal Peace Lounge. She's back. She's we've, back. We've had her up before. We certainly have. Yeah. Let's see, Jeez. add to stream. There we go. I love that. You see? Do you see how that that YouTube is trying to tell me how it should be spelled? 
Right. Four words, not two. Peace Lounge. Brown gal, Peace Lounge. Got it. Okay, here we are. Okay, let's pull up that wheel and let's see what's going to happen with our repeat customer or victim, depending on how you look at it. Brown gal, Peace Lounge. Peace Lounge. Am I saying that right? Let me just I'm just going to spin the wheel. This is much more nerve-wracking here, but it's all positive oh, yeah. things here. Look at this. We make it a, we oh, make it in advance oh, right off the... Oh, stay there. Oh, stay oh. there. Whoa, there we go. Nicely done. See? This is where it gets fun. We can move people right to the end. So we're not even going to look at your channel. The wheel says you get to go right to the final round. There you go. I love it. See? We're not afraid to we're not afraid to break the rules. We're rule breakers. That's right. Let me just see if I can misspell brown gal peace lounge. Brown All right, gal. the next word to type in is streamer. Now here's the thing with sudden death. We move faster on this as well. So as soon as Daniel has this in, we're spinning this one. Everything moves faster. Daniel, whenever you're ready. Do it. Megan. Right, let's go. Moving fast. Moving, moving, moving. Iron Horse Root, D and R G W. Iron Horse Root. I'm going to say that that is a motorcycle channel. I hope so. When I hear D Iron R G W. Horse, but it says Root. I wonder if they. Yeah, let me see. What is it again? Iron Horse Root. Can you show me the name of that one more time, yep. D, so I can find Iron it? Horse um, D, D and R G W. And R G W. Okay. Iron. Wow, you think that. Did I spell it wrong? You think that would have come right up? No, I guess. Let me see. All right, so this is a great example of having a channel name. I, I think what could be throwing it off is like D and RGW. Maybe I didn't put a, enough space. When it comes down to Maybe. spaces, Iron Horse. I think I spelled it right, didn't I? Okay, just the single Iron spaces. Horse. Yeah, such a tricky name to find. Um because of all the extra stuff in there that it's really yeah. hard for someone trying to that we always say that a great channel name should be fairly easy not everybody's like if you use your own name sometimes spelling isn't easy if you said nimmin you'd have to say what's that two m's or one m right but you know right. try to keep it simple try to something that someone can read and go oh i know how to type that in if they are going to try to find it um but let's see here's what we're looking at i'm not going to do anything where are we at with this one here do we want to reset the wheel yet or do we want to do one let's more see. spin with the four slices i don't know What's everybody say? Give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Reset or don't reset. Reset or not reset. What do you guys want to do? Man, what do we have? Hungry. They sound very hungry. They are. Lions Did you feed them hungry. recently? I kind of forgot. Yeah. <laughs> they haven't eaten in a while. <laughs> no. Ooh, look at that. No reset. No reset. No reset. No reset. No reset. No reset. Okay, no let's live. roll. All right. We're going to roll this thing. Let's do it. Yep. Skin that smoke wagon. <laughs> you got free merch in there. Now it is host choice because this can be anything. It doesn't have to just be what's on the wheel. And I'm going to defer to my good friend D. Nimmin in this case. So he could pick anything. He could move you forward. He could pick something, one of the best practices. He could eliminate you. He could advance you. Anything he chooses to do, any of the original. Let me remind you. I'll take this opportunity, D, to remind you of, of all the great choices that are on the wheel here. Let's restore the slices now. These are all the things that you could potentially choose from. If any in there jumps out at you, feel free to call it out. So I have a fear of horses, so I'm going to say eliminated. <laughs> really? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. No, yeah, I'm totally been, joking. That would have been great. That would have been great. He's like ruthless. We just watch everybody <laughs> no. leave. No, 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 no. <laughs> Throwing tomatoes at you. Stallions, yeah. No, I'm going to say, let's look at clear thumbnails. Yeah, clear thumbnails is a good one. I yeah, that yeah. One. Clear sure. thumbnails. Thumbnails right. don't work. You're not going to get a click. All right. Let me see. Let me go right to the videos tab until we get a better idea of what's going on here. Um, let me see. Okay. And I'm doing a lot you know, of shorts, too. I love it. A lot of shorts going on in there. Interesting sections. You know what I really like is his shorts actually have good clips, like with the Halloween pumpkins. Sometimes oh, yeah. this works out and sometimes it doesn't. Those are nice captured thumbnails from a short, especially being how close it is to Halloween. Um, but we're talking about thumbnails here. So yeah, let's see. That's a live videos. one. I won't look at the live one. Let me see if I can find something. Let me go. Let me reorganize these by most popular. And do you want to let some of the, um, do you want to let the chat decide? I mean, we, the Lions seem to be doing a good job today of making decisions. So 
They were the one who said not to reset the wheel before, so why don't we see if they want to decide what they think. What do you guys think about these thumbnails? When you look at them and you see the title with it, does this make a ton of sense? Is it like, yup, I totally get this video at a glance? Um, does that really scream, remove Atlas to install Peck Peco? I'm not sure I know what that. How to build a Helix $100 bulletproof. I'm trying to read all these words. Kato, Kato Locomotive derailment solution what exactly is this is this a train channel i was I, what i'm, I'm not trying to sure figure out what this so is. while while the audience is trying to decide I, i'm just going to give you some design tips on here be really careful with the fonts that you're choosing and the colors that you're choosing because some of these colors are just not working in contrast and some of these fonts are, are just kind of difficult to read like you can like look at free ballast you see how simple that is and then scroll up to one of these others with the red scroll up. That one there with the red. I don't even know what's going on there. I do better. So like the, the green on that just doesn't work. So you need to be really mindful of contrast and the actual fonts that you're using. And, yeah. I, and I, did re, I did reorganize these by most popular, um, which usually shows up the better thumbnails, but also shows up sometimes the older thumbnails. So I will give you one more um, uh, extra little bit a nudge to go towards um, most recent so that we can also see some of your more recent stuff and get a better idea of what the this is a stream i still say this streams or edited content doesn't mean it shouldn't have a great individual stylized thumbnail for former friday okay i'm looking there's a lot of a lot of the newer stuff seems to be live streams um relocate webcam quickly that one's no, more clear more clear but i'm still confused it's funny like i always want a thumbnail to help me understand what the channel's about and i think it's a real world you know what, what i like this one down here at least i don't think you need to click to subscribe that's insane to put that there but at least i see model railroad and i can read it and it looks like a model railroad so that was the closest one to me that felt like something that represented it but what did the chat say i'm seeing some We're, thumbs up from the christian magician i'm seeing thumbs up from um living in omaha david matney um i gotta scroll a little bit here let me go let me see what some of the other getting a lot are. of feedback that there, it's too wordy and it needs to yeah. simplify i i agree with that yeah, I think that, that for me, there are some people who thought they were good, and I think I'm seeing more thumbs down than thumbs up. I think the same thing. The, I think that the, what we would probably recommend here, Iron Horse Route, Route D and RGW, um, think about just getting these a little, like put, make sure that the value of these things is, is represented in, uh, um, in the thumbnail. One of the things I always say, like, you're using the exact same thumbnail for all these live streams, which I don't always think if it was a, sh you know, like we do a similar thing with the show here, but we only go live once a month on a channel that isn't our own. So we're branding a show. These are only driving 13 views. That one drove 40. That one drove 50. I would say, think about trying to bring, um, you know, you're saying like episode nine. This one also says episode nine, which I, I'm a little confused what's what, what's happening here. One of the things is try to make sure that you're putting value into these. Even though they're live streams, still try to talk about what people are going to get from going to watch this live stream instead of just putting Fomer, because I don't if I don't know you, Fomer Friday episode nine doesn't say anything to me. Um, and that's one of the things you really want to try to, yeah, Iron Horse a Train. It took me a minute too, Angie. I'm like, I get it now. So I think that was the same thing. A lot of us were like not quite making the connection. So be a little clearer with some of these. I think some of them aren't, are, are a little too wordy. There's a lot of text. There's a lot of things drawing our eyes in multiple directions. Your head's upside down. Then there's a building and then it says Iron Horse. Uh, you know what I mean? There's so yeah, let me, many let me, a let me pause for a second. If this is about trains, yeah. I want to see trains in that thumbnail. Yeah. Hands down. I want to see trains. And if this is about trains, and I believe it is, uh, if I'm wrong, uh, let me know. But if this is about trains, I want to see trains. Yeah. Keep in mind, a clear thumbnail means you are speaking to your target audience. Yep. Right? You are speaking to people who are interested in your content. Yeah, look at some of this. Three quarters of a million views in nine months. Look at that great model train picture. Really, really well done. There's no text whatsoever. It's just showing a great model train um, setup that they built. And even some of these other ones, like uh, look at this one here. Building a real, oh, this is a desert one. They do a desert railroad. Building a realistic imaginary desert railroad. 
4 million views. Look how great he's got himself in there, but not just just his body to show scale and the paintbrush. Mm. And he's building. You can see the train. Like Some of these are really great. Uh, this, these ones that are really doing well, um, that are really pushing it, these are only eight days ago and two days ago. They're really pushing the, the, the idea of the model train being in there. Just make it easy. Make it easy for the viewer to understand what that's about, you know, so they can go, oh, I get it. I, like, I love model trains. That's a model train um, video. I'm going to watch that one. Okay, so I think the crowd decided on that one. I, I think... Uh... I think that was a... Uh... I think that... Uh... <laughs> Game over. But keep playing along, my friend. You might get right back into this. You never know how this wheel spin thing ends up. So uh, I'll try to think about that. Everybody, think about trying to make clear thumbnails. Just make it easy for the viewer to understand at a glance what this might be about. Try to put a little compelling in, uh, element in there. Try to make sure the, the picture looks pretty crisp and clear that it's high resolution. Try to give them something that they would click and they go, I dig that. That stuff I'm into, I'm clicking. Yeah, and just at a glance in general, like your title and your thumbnails, people don't have time to try to figure out what's going on. Just at a glance, boom, I know what this is about. I want to click on that or I don't. Yeah, totally. Clarity. Okay. Megan, are you ready? She's ready. Let's do this. Oh, 90 of them. Ready? Let's go. Okay, I'm looking. I see Neil in there. Our extraordinary, ordinary something. Let me see if I can type that in. Okay, our extraordinary, ordinary, extraordinary, ordinary family. Maybe it's extraordinary, ordinary family. Life. Life. Um, here's life. the avatar. Uh, it's got it's got somebody like trekking through the I mountains. Think, have we had them before? I think they may have been here before too. Because this is this is some for some reason this is ringing a bell. I, I don't know if if I've run into them before, but okay, let's um, let's see. Okay, I've got them pulled up. Wow, that was crazy. Did you see that? No, you what was talking, it? Those talking pumpkins? What is going on know. there? Their mouths are moving. What? Can you see this? Can everyone see this? Oh, it stops when I put the thing over it. Uh huh. Sure. Like, talking they're, pumpkins. They're, Lay off the sauce, buddy. This, listen, Lay it's off a, the sauce. It's, you know, I, I usually don't do that much day drinking. Those are some talking pumpkins right there. Wasn't that cool? How, How do I get those? That? that is crazy. Man, all right. all right. Is it is it like a a projector projecting on the? Pumpkins? I don't know. We're gonna have to ask him though because that's pretty extraordinary. See what I did there? Yeah, it was extraordinary. Okay, let's do this. Let's pull up the wheel and see what we're gonna look at. That's cool. I want right. to find out about those. Okay. Megan, we got a few days till Halloween here. Let's uh, let's see if we can get our hands on some of those talking pumpkins. <laughs> Megan's raising her hand like I'm all in. Yeah, talking Bye, pumpkins, Megan. man, sign me up. What? <laughs> No one hates a talk, talking pumpkin. Cards, we've talked about this one already and why they're important, so let's pull this channel up quickly and see if they are using cards in their videos. I'm going to pull over to, let's see. Um, there's a 24-minute video from uh, almost uh, almost a full day ago. Let's pull that up. And there it hey, is hey. up on the right-hand corner. I do see cards using cards, so that is a... Uh... Advance. Instant right, next, advance. Next word to type in is the word clarity. Without clarity, you got nothing. All right, Megan, you ready? She's ready. Let's go. Moving fast now. There's our friend Neil, or uh, hey, Urban Van Life. Good to see him in the house. Let me just finish typing this name into the winner circle here ordinary life these long names take me longer to, to get them all typed in yep let me see how i did here i don't think i typed it perfectly but we get the idea <laughs> user error <laughs> let me pull up user error channel. all right neil uh urban here we go van life good to see some of the people we know getting pulled yeah. up here hope you're doing well neil yeah neil's been crushing it man i love his channel i'm going to tell you right here if, uh, it, like, it's always luck of the draw right because the wheel yeah. now neil it's about the wheel here. Don't blame us if the wheel picks something in that one video you happen to miss it. But this is just how, you know how we roll here, Neil. Yeah. We all love you either way. But let's spin the wheel and see what we're looking at. Please don't be eliminated. That would be too cruel. Yeah. Yeah, Neil's been doing great on his channel. He's really found his stride. And this is his second channel, isn't even there was The original channel he had was cryptocurrency. Yeah. Optimized playlist. Let's see what he's got going on over I here. I know he's, he's got him. 
I hope so. I know. I know he's got optimized play. Look at this channel, my friends. This is Urban Van Life, right? Van building and adventures. That's really what they do is they like literally buy these vans and they totally trick them out and they'll take them out and go, you know, like take them out places and, you know, actually go on adventures with them. Now, if you look here, when I scroll down, he's got even instead of something like an up, like it's people who like, you know, uploads. He changes that right out to the Urban Explorer most recent videos, right? And then he says, here's the most recent video upload so you can stay up to date with all of our latest adventures, repairs, modifications, and van life. Because there's a lot of story to what he does. So that makes a lot of sense for that to be there. Camper van modifications, upgrades, and gadgets for van life. Do you see how these playlist titles read almost like a video title? I yeah. see this and I go, I would totally get into this playlist if I yeah. want to know all about those camper van modifications, the upgrades, and all the kind of gadgets if you're into that van life. All well optimized because these playlists yeah. can show up in places like search and browse. So this, if this showed up and I'm into that van life thing and building out vans, I would be watching this all day long. And look at even all the thumbnails. It's such, it's so well done. Neil. Yeah. It, if your playlist are not descriptive like this, you're doing playlists wrong. Mm. That doesn't I mean totally it have to be that long, but it's just descriptive, right? Like, you know, by reading the playlist, what it's about. Yeah, like another one here, van life tra travel adventures and trips, exploring the UK in a self-built camper. You know exactly what's going to happen in this playlist. And if it's right for you or not, like if you're not into that, you can move on past it, but it's, but you immediately get that whole value proposition of what the channel is about is existing down in his playlist too. It's just really, really well done, pal. Well done, man. Yeah. That means advance. Moving on. Yeah. And you know what I like about him? He's got an easier name to type into the winner's circle too. So thank you for he that, does. Neil. Appreciate it. <laughs> it's all about me. It's all about my convenience. <laughs> oh man. Okay. All right, Megan, are you ready? Megan's ready. Do that thing. Well, let's go. Heirloom dating. Heirloom dating. I know this channel. It's all about different types of tomatoes that you might want to have a romance with, right? I love heirloom tomatoes. Those are great ones. <laughs> Maybe not. Heirloom dating. All right, let's dating. go. You got it? Uh, is that the right one? That really is an heirloom tomato up there, I believe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I might yeah, have that's been it. right. I don't know. Is, it, is this the right one? That, that, the, yeah, that's it. Can you tell them once again? Oh, uh, what are we talking about? Are they typing too many times into the chat? Okay. What's that? Oh, that what? What am I getting? I had to get my tip here. What's going on? Oh, uh, just, yeah, just a reminder um, in the chat, apparently. Just type, the, when the word comes up, you only need to type it once in the chat. Typing it more than once doesn't improve your odds of getting picked. If you type it in there once, it ignores all the other ones you put there, and it just floods the chat with some spam. So just make sure when D does drop a word, just type it once in the chat and make sure you have it spelled correctly. That uh, once is plenty enough. It doesn't matter if it's, it goes through the entire chat and pulls it out, so you'll be good to go. There you go. Okay, let me see what we're looking at here. Let me pull up the wheel. Let's let the wheel tell us what we're looking at when it comes to the uh, heirloom dating. Heirloom dating. Yeah, clear value proposition. Boy, I'm on the fence here because I immediately made the joke that this must, this must be about, about uh, tomatoes. But it's a dating. It says dating, astro dating, heirloom dating. Um, let me see. Um, D, what do you think about this? Let me just scroll around here. Um, it's the the channel art it says heirloom oh. um, astro me, dating. I, I'm I'm gonna guess, and I'm gonna test it right here. I'm gonna guess that, that QR code mm -hmm. is oh, going sorry. to an app store. So you're sending people off platform, which might be your intention. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. So it is an app. They've they've got a dating app here. Okay, perfect. All right, so this is actually a uh, a channel that's designed to support the the dating app that they have. Okay, right. All right, let's let's talk this one through. Um, I personally think like we the fact that it had a QR code and it didn't explain. It does say download the app here. I like that, but it didn't really explain it up here that this was all about the app. I don't know what the I know you have an app. But is that the whole thing? Is like I come to the channel and all the whole goal is just download the app and it doesn't really tell me what it is. It's some kind of dating app. I'm trying to figure out, is this an, 
Does astrology, astrology work? best dating advice, astrology Bible verse, astrology dating for beginners. I feel like I'm missing that connection. Like, how does astrology? Is it? Is it? Is that? Is it? Is it a? Is it connecting the idea of ast how astrology plays a role in finding your the right per people to date? Is that the goal of this? I'm going to try the about tab. Yeah. Hey there, check out our new app. <laughs> <team. laughs> I'm dating and meet your astro matches link. Also subscribe. It just keeps saying buy our app, get our app. I, you know, I'm going to. I'll let you decide, Dee, because I, I, I'm I'm leaning towards. I, I think this is more of a commercial, okay. less of a clear value. Here we go. This is this this is a this is a great moment right here. So we're going to let the people in the audience decide. So what is it? It's a clear value proposition. Yeah, clear value proposition, or, so that you know not what their app is about, but when you come to this channel, why people should subscribe, why yeah. that what the content is going to be about, and what they can expect tomorrow and the day after from this channel, just based on the kind of things that you're seeing here. What do you guys think? Thumbs up or thumbs down in the chat? Um, if you can understand exactly the kind of content and understanding why you'd want to be invested into, like, yep, definitely going to subscribe. I love this channel. I love their content. And, it, and, you know, forget the, take the app out of the equation. I get, you know, or if you can. <laughs> can yeah, you? you know, it, it's, it's as creators, it's really easy for us because we make something, right? Like we build the channel, we're making the videos, and in our head, it makes sense. All of this stuff makes sense. And, and I believe the person who made this uh, channel, it makes sense to them. But you can see here in, in the chat, people are really confused about what's going on here with the channel. We understand you have an app, but we're, we're not looking at your app right now we're looking at the actual channel itself because obviously you want your channel to grow to bring attention to the app right that's probably your goal and people are i'm confused about what's the messaging here and what you're trying to do and it looks like uh, people in the in the chat is is very are, they're very confused as well yeah and it look you know they, they started putting up content seven months ago and the channel currently has three subscribers so that's one of the things not you know I, we'll let, I, I, to me and the chat will make the final choice it feels like it's not connecting as a youtube channel it feels yeah. like it's just like a business card for your app like oh yeah you can go to my you know my youtube channel and i'll basically tell you more about my app not really i'm not i'm not sure why i would invest in this channel you know like i'm you know is it a commercial? I always say this, like when there are, there are companies that come to Twitter and they go, okay, here we go. We have a Twitter account. You ready? We're going to put our first tweet. Let's put a link to our website. Yeah. Here come the sales. And I always tell them it doesn't work that way. You have to build a community. You have to give people a reason to be invested with you. Just having a social media presence doesn't mean you just sit there and keep putting links back to buy my thing, buy my thing. You have to provide value to people. They have to know why they would want to watch your content, why they might be interested in the app. What does the app do? Give me some examples of the app of the app doing something in real life. Talk to me, you know, like, like explain it up in the channel art, that kind of thing. So I really understand what this is all about and how it solves something for me. What are we seeing in the chat? Thumbs down, thumbs oh, down. Okay. Yeah. I'm not seeing a single a single thumbs up. I'm seeing all the game over. I called it. Yeah. And I think, and listen, and especially this is uh, for anyone who's bringing a product to YouTube. Uh, maybe you could show how to use the app in the videos. That's possible. I don't think that that's a bad idea, Robin. But you know what's more important than showing how to use the app? Because that might do that is making sure that it's clear what the value of the app is too. Like if this is all about, listen, this is going to help you find your perfect soulmate more effectively, more easily by understanding how their astrological sign can uh, find if they're compatible with you or not. Maybe that's what this astro dating app does. I don't know, but it says astro dating and it seems to mention astrology, but nothing in here tells me the, the point of, you know, finding the right mate, finding the perfect mate, you know, by, uh, I got duck so bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about that. Really think about bringing that here, though. Think yeah, about like clarity. exact. Think about that yeah. elevator pitch. Like if you had to say some to to somebody in a single mm -hmm. sentence what your channel's about, niche, who the target audience is, and why they would watch your content. Be able to roll that out in one quick sentence. Like D, if I were to ask you what the value proposition of your channel is, what what would you say to me? 
I help mobile content creators and live streamers succeed on YouTube. Boom. Treat done. Like, I know exactly what his channel's about, right? It's all about YouTube growth for people who are using their mobile devices, right? Who's the target audience? Exactly explained right there. Why they would want to watch D's channel? Because he's going to actually show them how to succeed on YouTube using those, those uh, mobile devices for making content and live streaming. It's all wrapped up in a single sentence. You get all of it. And that's what we need to have happen here is have a really strong value proposition and not just, hey, I have an app. Hey, I have an app. So think about that. We're sorry that you got duck, but... uh. You know what happens to the best of us, I promise you. You're not alone. <laughs> it could have been any of us. <laughs> and good luck with the app, though. I, yeah. You know, good luck with yeah, the app. Yeah, I'd love to see the app take off. So really work on this. Some of the companies we work with, we find they get some of their strongest um, conversion. Even StreamYard. Some of the strongest conversion StreamYard gets is from the StreamYard channel because everybody's here talking about how to use live streaming, how to use the product, but also how to use live streaming on effectively in general and how to use live streaming to grow your channel and the ideas of live streaming as it, as it, um, as it, it plays out in terms of being a creator on the YouTube platform. So all of those things exist here on this channel, makes it easy for this channel to do well and connect and actually um, get more people to sign up and actually use the product. So Ahmed has a question here, one question. It says, you do streams on the first Saturday of the month, but it's the 22nd reason. Okay, so we do streams on, on the, the second, second Saturday, the second Saturday of every month. And the reason we had to postpone this one is because I, I, I got sick. Yeah. I got sick and I'm just not getting back on my feet, so... Yeah. We're trying and to, we, this and is a makeup stream. If we ever have to, if we ever um, have to postpone them, just check the community tab. We do put up notifications if something happens and we, and it, you know, yeah. that COVID is a, is a bear. It's a bear. It takes down the it best is. of us. Um, you know, D lost all of his hair to COVID. Just I did. Amen. I, I had, I, Amen, <laughs> since it's your Amen. first time here, I used to look like Daniel. COVID. And then uh, I got <laughs> the virus off. and, you know, hair fell out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get the whole channel taken down for spreading misinformation. <laughs> Actually, yeah, yeah. It's a joke. Them's a We're joke. just kidding. Yeah. When COVID does not make you lose your hair. Uh, well, as far as we know. Yep. There goes the channel. There <laughs> it is. We've lost it. <laughs> okay. Where are we at right now? We're at. We're right at the hour and a half mark. You want to do one more? I think we could spin one more here. Can we? Yeah. Let's do one more. Ladies and gentlemen, the duck rules all. The you got duck, about five seconds to type it in. Type it in, folks. The duck rules all. <laughs> it does. All right, Megan, are you ready? Yeah, she's ready. Let's do this thing. All right, let's go. We need a duck sound effect. We totally do. Why don't we have? How do we not have a duck sound effect? COVID takes away our sense of. It does. <laughs> hey, genealogy she's back. with Amy Johnson. Welcome All right, let's... back. Good to see. You. <laughs> All right, genealogy with Amy. <laughs> Johnson Dish. <laughs> what did she say? I, I yeah. <laughs> Tish, I believe we had that conversation at, at, at the bar at Vid Summit about ducks, didn't we? Uh, I'm missing we all the humor. We did. <laughs> I forgot about that. All right, oh, let me do goodness. this. I have her channel here. Let's uh let's put the wheel up here. We're gonna spin and we'll see uh what we're gonna look at on Amy's channel. Amy, no excuses. Amy, a battalion member. She should have That's all right. of this stuff dialed in. There should be no reason to get anything wrong here. My reputation's on the line. End screens. Let's see if our good pal Amy Johnson Crow is using end screens in her content to push people towards more videos. Let me find something that's done well. It's a stream. Uh, let me see. Let me go with this one right here. I'm going to scroll to the end. I'm going to see if there's an end screen. Don't do me dirty here, Amy. I swear oh, to God. Dirty. Oh, there it is right oh. there, my friend. That's it right there. That. Advance. See, this is what I love about my uh, battalion members. They, they listen and they implement. They don't play around when they say, hey, you got to use those end screens. They're like, on it, Mr. Battalion. Yes, sir. <laughs> right to it. I and they get it. the thing done. All right, let me put her into the winner's wheel here. Um, you know, we got to take a second here to really thank StreamYard for letting us uh, do this thing that we do here every week. They're very kind to let us get away with this kind of shenanigans here. They are. They're too kind. And by the way, if you're not using StreamYard for some strange reason and you're looking for the easiest way 
to get up and get live streaming. There's a link down in the description below. You can live stream for free for up to 20 hours per week. The cool thing about StreamYard is it's all cloud-based. It's all done on your browser and it's done up in the cloud. So it's not really taxing your system a lot. It makes it really easy for you to get up and stream if you don't have a powerful computer. Yeah. I, I love it. I mean, and, and one of the things you can see is like if you have an internet glitch, which I had, it didn't boot me. It didn't boot me out of the stream or anything. I was just, you know, froze for a second and let me right back in. So one of the things I love, remember we used to have those problems like we'd have an internet issue when YouTube would shut our streams down immediately. Yeah, the minute the connection yeah. was broken, it was like, yeah. well, that kind of not really cool. <laughs> Starting from scratch. Yes. Goodbye, everybody. Boom. Okay. Let me see. Yeah. Uh, where is it? Here it is. There's the wheel. Okay, I have the wheel up here. My color selection may not have been great. Yeah, I think I have two greens next to each other, so don't yell okay, at me. Ooh, I'm doing my that. best. That balances all over the place. Okay, let's spin this wheel. The way we do this is our final spin of the wheel. The wheel will decide. Whoever it lands on can pick a piece of merch from the StreamYard catalog, and we'll get that shipped out to you. So let's just not waste any time, and let's spin this wheel and see who our winner is this let's week. Do it. Do you like my Halloween orange going on back here? I'm trying to keep the fire flame effect. I dig it. I dig it. There it is. Deadlock 13. Deadlock 13, my friend, if you're still in the chat or if you're watching later on the replay, Megan will put her email into the chat. It is Megan at DanielBatal.com. And she'll be able to connect. Just reach out to her, send her an email. Uh, she'll verify that it's you and it's your channel. And then we'll uh, send you a link and let you pick anything you want from the StreamYard channel as long as you're within the shipping um, radius, which is pretty worldwide. There are a couple places we can't. Uh, sometimes we get hit with a few regions that don't allow shipping. Uh, but if we can't, we'll make sure we'll get you some licenses and we'll get you hooked up. But congratulations on the win. That's really awesome. Congratulations. Mr. Patel, thank you so much. It's glad to be back. As always, it's awesome to stream with you. Everybody in the chat, thank you for participating. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the shares. We will be back the second Saturday of next month. We'll be scheduling on our normal time. Yeah, health, health given, you know, without any issues. <laughs> as long as we can stay healthy till then. <laughs> it's a struggle, man. It's a struggle. <laughs> we'll see you all soon, everybody.